Good morning, Minxie ladies. Good morning, Minxie ladies. Just talking about Lisa. She's wearing um, such a cool outfit today. Uh, she reminds me of, and this is really taking us back in time. Do you ladies, some of you ladies, remember Dallas? I think it was like a, a 1990s? Yeah. Yeah, actually, the ladies will know. When was Dallas out? You know that program where they had the big, everyone power dressed and they had the big shoulder pads and the big hair and, um, yeah, stilettos and I'm just oh. trying to think what else they wore. And there was like they were on a ranch oh, and on. yeah. Was, do you? How can yeah, you do. Know? You're not that so old. Do reruns. <laughs> reruns. Reruns. I, reruns. But I also I think I think they might have came out with a new new one. I don't know. Yeah, there was a new there is a new one. I did see <laughs> on Neon or Netflix. Oh, okay. There was a new one coming out. Anyway, uh, so I was talking about that. Uh, I don't know why we're talking about that. Oh, because of this. Um, this is model's yeah. own uh, top part of her outfit here. And I am just such a fan of blue and green being worn together, and I think this is a great example of that. So Lisa's got her uh, Hayworth pants on in the emerald green, emerald green, emerald yeah. green, which is pretty cool. And then this morning she came in and she put on her Art Flower Pretty Pollies with her woolly socks because it was cold this yeah. morning. <laughs> So um, I, what I like about the Pretty Polly's is it's just kind of picking up all those pops of colour in what Lisa's wearing today, which is quite nice. And it also shows you that even if you're wearing a lot of colour, you can still wear a colourful shoe with your colour. Yeah. I guess as long as it's toned in, it's yeah. okay. Lisa said Dynasty. A Dynasty! Oh. oh, thank you. Dynasty. Dynasty, that's right. Yeah, they had the ranch and they were all yeah, like really yeah. wealthy and... And yeah, it was really cool. The families. Oh yeah, it was a great series. <laughs> and Ray Raywin says hello, ladies. Hi, Raywin. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so um, what we thought we'd do today is um, apologise on behalf of our couriers because our clothing still hasn't arrived. It's been three days in transit around Auckland somewhere. Come on, Castle Parcel. We want to send out all those clothes that the ladies have ordered. Uh, and that our retailers have got coming. So um, I'm wearing the lounger shirt today. It's one of the new pieces that's due in any moment. I think it comes on today. Oh, eh? well, we're hoping. Oh. We're all ready to go. We've got our packing table ready. <laughs> we're all super excited. Uh, so uh, we thought we were going to be telling you about um, that coming in and showing you how you can wear them and things like that. But uh, alas, not today. Maybe tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is i just kind of talk through maybe what the girls are wearing because Annie's just floating around in the background because I said, oh, you should show the ladies how you're wearing your Renzos. Uh, so she has got on her barbecue dress from last summer, yep. um, which we're turning into a skirt this summer. Um, and your own little woolly jumper over the top because it was chilly this yeah, morning. it was cold. It was like that. So we finally got sunshine up here in Auckland, which is so nice. Um, and she's got her Renzo sneakers on, which are ridiculously comfortable so um, they are selling so well ladies and uh, they're looking fantastic on all sorts of feet ankles all that kind of thing um, you'll notice too that Annie's got her little polka dot socks on under there mm. um, which are just so cute do you want to just do you mind just unlacing oh, yeah. one of your shoes and showing the ladies of course. so these um, these are great like if you're thinking Christmas at the moment and you're thinking of stocking fillers and things like that so this is our little um, spotty sock. What do we yep. call it, Nate? Sheer spot, 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 <laughs> spot sock. Uh, so it's got a cotton foot base and bed to it. So uh, plenty of room in there for longer feet as well. Um, you've got cotton up through the back and the toe. And then you can see up through the front there is that beautiful sheerness. Uh, with the polka dots. I mean, I can imagine, you know, real estate agents where they've got to take off their shoes and they've got like this cute little sock yeah. on underneath. It would be so cute. That's very true. Um, so anyway, they come in a packet of three. Mm. So you get a white pair, a black pair, and this grey male pair in those little socks. Mm. So, and I think it's under $30, something mm. like that. So great little Christmas idea if you're thinking about Christmas ladies, uh, which we need to be because the couriers are so darn slow at the moment. Yeah. We need to be getting on to that now. Um, so Elaine says loving the spotty socks yeah, and Elaine, taste, Stephanie says bought the cotton socks from Dakota Mosgiel last Thursday. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Big shout out to Dakota <laughs> down there. Thanks, Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Renee was saying she read out a message this morning about, um, trig sandals. Uh, can we have a quick chat about the trig sandals? So Renee lives in her tricks. She's got her lemon mm -hmm. ones on today. Um, so uh, what we're going to what we're going to say about them is that um, they have 
Lots of adjustability in around the ankle here. So nay has got a beautiful slim ankle, so she's got it on the um, tighter setting, really. She could put another hole in there if she wanted to. I wear mine out on the lowest because of my thicker ankle, but um, what it does is it gives like a nice little, on a thicker ankle, you have it firmer, and it gives that beautiful little angle like that, which uh, detracts from a heavier set leg. Um, Nay doesn't need any help with that because she's got such beautiful ankles and legs and things. So um, this is the lemon. Now, underneath her foot is a beautiful molded footbed. So this is where we're saying the fit on these molded footbeds can make the shoe a little bit smaller so if uh, so Renee for example is usually a size 41 41 and she's gone up to 42 yep. in these these um, trig sandals so mm -hmm. if you're wonder, wondering about size if you're a size 40 maybe look to get that extra bit of mm -hmm. fit and comfort and go to a 41 um, mm. so move yourself up a little bit of a size in that no so, polish looks good yeah the natural <laughs> candy, <laughs> pink. Yeah. candy nice. pink so cute um, so thanks yeah. for that, Nate. So right. I'm hoping that helps. Um, I'm hoping that helps you with the inquiry. What we'll do is we'll go and have a look at some of the other colours in that trick mm -hmm. sandal. Free do it. Um, um, Raven says, I love my lemon oil Charlie sandals, only worn once so far, is not enough sun, I don't want to get wet, but 41 comfy ears, thanks. Oh, that's really good to know, maybe we'll just show the ladies what Charlie is, so the Charlie sandal, actually we had very limited numbers of that Raven's. made, um, and it was an unusual buy for our retailers because they're not used to seeing these little toe loops in the sandals um although i actually think the toe loops are once you get used to having that you know thong piece between your toe there um they are really really comfortable and good on that's good to know so that's it in the white and we just showed you the black um and that's in the lemon that you're just talking about which is so so pretty so so pretty for summer um i think the thing to note about this is the new sole unit it is so beautiful. It's um, it's literally Coco Chanel released a, um, a very similar sole to this uh, that last summer. Um, so we're really lucky to be able to have the benefit of um, using that same kind of innovative soling material and look and design. So, you know, if it's good for Chanel, it's good for Minx ladies, <laughs> right? Uh, so we're going to take you back to the Trig Sandals and just show you the other colours. I'm holding here the beautiful khaki. Such an on-trend colour for the summer season. If you're one of those neutral wearers and you want to do that whole natural sort of look and vibe, it's going to be a really, really good colour um, for you to be wearing. Actually, I'm just going to show you this if you do like this colour. We also have the Tilda sandal, same sort of thing in that lovely khaki shade as well. It's just a really, it's quite a um, like an edgy sort of uh, vibe this summertime. Uh, but, you know, we are about colour here at Minx, so here's a beautiful lilac shade for you. Oops, it's undone. Uh, and the trig sandal, so that's uh, the lilac. Oops, I've wrapped around that round the wrong way. What am I doing? Uh, Stephanie says, I bought the white recently. Very comfortable. Went up, went up to a 41. Oh, good. Yeah, so that's that's yeah. true feedback on the actual sizing of this. Uh, so that was the lilac. Um, this year we've got two white versions. This is the version we had out this last summer. Uh, super, super popular. Uh, so that's white with the black sole. And you do need to be specific. This is white with the bone sole. Um, so it, that's giving you that more natural, neutral sort of luxe yeah. look there, which is quite pretty. Um, if you like the bone, there's a couple of options in bone. Where's our other bone option there, Lise? It must be, have we got it out? Maybe we've sold out of it. Um, we're just talking about um, this trig sandal also comes in. We've got the bone up here, but it also comes in a... In a Oh, here it is here, it's hiding. Oh, oh no, that's white. Oh. oh, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. So we do have, we have this, we have this version here with the matching bone leather in through here if you want that really kind of, really subtle kind of natural look. Oh, there we go. Here it is. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> So yeah, oh. so you've got two two colours, two sort of natural versions of that. Mm -hmm. um, the white with the bone sole and the bone with the bone sole. Uh, thanks for that, Lise. Uh, of course, we've got black. Everyone needs a good black little strappy sandal in it. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got translucent pink, which you may or may not be able to see through your camera right now, but the translucent pink has got like a slight shimmer to yeah, it. Yeah, you can see it. You can, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's quite pretty. It's quite a pretty colourway. Yeah. Um, so I think that might be all the yeah, colours in that. Yeah, we've covered that off. And purple. Uh, yeah, one? we talked about yep. lilac already. Yep. Um, 
so yeah, so that's it. Well, I just wanted to quickly run through my outfit for today. Um, I've got the Morgans on, which is the beautiful new um, uh, espadrille slide. In fact, I had the girls from Moa Clothing uh, come in and pick up their stock the other day, and she put it on, and it inspired me to grab a pair for myself. Um, a few things about it. Beautiful elastic gussets in through here, so you get that nice um, deep fit into the shoe when they're this muley kind of slide. The feature uh, tab in through here, the metal hardware on here, all this beautiful moccasin whip stitching around the outside, your rope sole and then your rubber outsole on that. I have had a few ladies asking about the durability of this espadrille rope type sole. A couple of things I want to point out. The thickness of this rubber should keep you slightly elevated off puddles and, and water and things. Um, as opposed to like a very flat espadrille where, you, where the rope kind of skids along the bottom of the sole. So you should have enough of a, um, a boundary between here, uh, like, like the pavement and your actual um, uh, wedge covering. Uh, the other thing I would suggest uh, potentially, if you are worried about water stains and things like that, is just to spray them with your, um, with your waterproofing spray and it should just help uh, the water to roll off that. So, and inside, oh my gosh, they're like, really 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 soft and spongy um so they're really easy little style to wear uh, i'm so taken with them that i have to do, do more colors for next summer i think so it's pretty cool uh and yeah just coming up through the body i've got my uh soho mesh tank slip on um and some fake tan on ladies <laughs> because i just couldn't bear my pasty white legs um and so yeah so i've got my little uh this is a sage color um the sly slip uh chiffon sly slip in the sage uh, over the top of that and then what I've done with my new lounge shirt is I've tied a, um, a little knot in the front of it equally I could just have it sort of open and relaxed um, looking like this so you can get the full kind of um, swishiness of it all but I like to kind of just because it's such a lineal look I thought I'll just kind of knot this to give myself a little bit more of a waistline look which is nice and easy to do I think uh, and of course these are due any moment, moment now yeah, so have we got any more questions there? Ella? Robin says, I have the lace-up shoes. I'm green, so love them. Had them on every day. So love Minx. Have for years. Love watching you girls most oh. days. Facebook, you guys are so cool. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Robin. Oh, I wonder what shoe she's referring to. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Leanne says, do you have any Batwing sweatshirts, the cotton ones? Oh, yeah, that was such a good, good sweatshirt, eh? Hey? Um, no, we don't. I don't think we do. I can't no, even think of. No. We don't have any, do we? No, no, nays in the back. I'm sorry about that. But it's something that I should really have a, maybe for next one to have another look at doing. They're really handy. Someone's, uh, Raven said, the lounger shirt, how big are they? Should I go down a size if I are 16? They look roomy. The lounger shirt is a one size fits most. So you're going to get into this, it's going to be fine. Um, and you've got a few little different colour options in it to come. Yeah, it's quite oversized on me. Um, and I think a size 16, a fuller body, and it's going to be, you're going to be just fine. fine. Mm. You're just going to be totally fine. Melanie said, hi ladies, is the Verona tinsel dress on the way? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. Um, we haven't seen the production samples come down yet, which indicates to me it's still a couple of weeks away. I'm just so, so sorry. We're having two horrendous um, bottlenecks, I guess, for lack of better words. One is FedEx out of China, uh, and then the second one is actually getting the samples moved from when they come into FedEx to here, to our HQ. So we're trying to figure out a system to short circuit, so we're getting notified now um, as soon as they hit the, hit the country, uh, and then we're going to go and clear it, and we're going to go and sort it out so that it's going to save maybe four or five days, potentially a week, between it coming into the country and then us sending it out. So that's one thing we can do to stop, but I can't do anything about the jolly FedEx in China and trying to catch that up and get that sorted. It's a bit of a nightmare. Leanne says, that's okay, I love it. I wear it all the time. Please do it again about the bat wing. Oh, yes, yeah. Actually, I wear mine all the time. It's a good, I don't know how you wear it, but I wear it with um, like leggings going for a walk in the morning. It's just like a really nice, easy light fit you've got that fitting through the arms and then it's all kind of nice and floaty great for this time of the year so i get you and i hear you about that we probably should do that again mm. yeah thanks for that feedback have you got any more questions before i sign off this morning that's all melanie just says it's okay totally understand <laughs> thank oh, you thanks, <laughs> i know look i really really appreciate all your patience with the clothing it's you know 
you know when you really like something and you want it now and it's starting to get cooler and you know you could be wearing it now too i think that's even more frustrating so i really appreciate your patience equally if you have pre-ordered something and you just don't want to wait any longer we are happy to take your cancellations and refund you so um just feel free to get in touch raven said the bat one bird of the year <laughs> the bat did win bird of the year you're right about that is that a bird like i'm so confused about that is a bat a bird I, mean, I did I not think it, of it as a bird. I thought it was a bird. I, I thought it was a It's like a possum with wings, isn't it? A possum with wings. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The ladies will know. I'm sure we'll get some feedback on that. Maybe someone's got it. Oh, with the lace up green ones. Robin was talking about with the Renzo Kaki ones. She oh, loves them. Oh, yeah, these. I'll grab those out and show the ladies. Um, that's that, that really cool, sort of modern look. That's a very cool choice there, Robin. Very cool choice. Love those. Yeah, they're really yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, so it's cool. a um, mammal. A mammal. A bird. Oh, yeah. So is a bird So a it's not a bird, is it? No. What? A bird's a bird? But, I don't know. <sighs> oh, God, that's, that's pretty crazy. Everyone, Everyone went batty. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone. Maybe Halloween. <laughs> I guess it's maybe Halloween themed. Who knows? Who oh. knows? <laughs> Melanie said, Def not cancelling, LOL. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mel. Thanks for your patience. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I know. We're so excited. Um, it's going to be very cool. That tinsel fabric is beyond soft it's like so comfortable to wear you gotta love it when you get it uh anyway girls we're gonna catch up with you tomorrow hopefully with good news about the clothes and um have a beautiful day today wherever you are bye